this is actually what I'm running in the M3 right now and it's been good so far so this should be good for the Mini Cooper as well all right guys welcome back to the channel thanks for checking out another video so today I'm gonna be upgrading um, the brakes on the Mini Cooper Alright guys, so the Mini Cooper is a budget build, so I'm not going to be spending crazy amount of money on it. So today I'm going to be upgrading the front brakes on the Mini. I decided to go with EBC brakes. This should be pretty good for the Mini. The yellow stuff should get the job done. I also got the rotors for the front as well. I'm only going to be doing the front today. I might do the bike another day. Man, these things look really good, guys. I'm also gonna be flushing my brake fluid. I went with ATE. This should be good as well to get the job done. I'm actually running these in the, in the M3 right now and haven't had any problem. Yeah, guys, let's jump right into it. So now that I have all the wheels up of the car, I'm gonna start with bleeding the brakes. I'm gonna be using this too. This right here, guys, make the job so much easier. And the great thing is that it works for the Mini and BMWs. If you're interested in picking up one, I got the link in the description below. you pump it make sure it holds pressure before you go ahead and ble bleed the system so you're gonna need a 10 millimeter and you always want to start with the axle the farthest from the brake cylinder so you want to go left no actually right rear then left rear then right front and then left front all right guys I ran into some trouble. I guess I'm not gonna be bleeding the brakes. As you guys can see, she's leaking all right. The master cylinder is damaged. It's so old. I don't know if you guys can see it. And it's all leaking from the bike, so. Oh yep, yeah. look, look. It's uh, so damn old. That's the problem with all the cars. Now. All right, guys, the show must go on. I couldn't bleed the brakes, but I am gonna continue with changing the brake rotors and pads. And you're gonna need a 16 millimeter, a T50, and a H7.
all right guys i'm all done i think it looks pretty good the blue on um, blue I think it looks pretty good let me know what you guys think sucks I can't drive the car because now I need a master cylinder reservoir brake fluid reservoir actually and um yeah guys and I think this came out looking really good let me know what you guys think and if you like this video don't forget to go ahead and smash that like I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.